Hi and welcome to this Blink Optician Management System tutorial. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the main features that Blink has to offer. If you'd like a more detailed look at certain areas of the system, please see the videos in this series. So let's start by logging in. The first thing to notice is that Blink remembers the patient last viewed by your particular username. So we'll leave that patient is. But now I'm going to start by creating a new patient. So as you'd expect, enter in various patient demographic information. I can use the postcode lookup. This is an extra feature for Blink in the UK and uh, is licensed by third parties, so you need to speak to me about this. populated. So select a GP for this particular patient. These are predefined on the system and automatically populate the system with the GP's practice name and address. I can also specify whether it's an NHS patient and obviously apply their NHS number and national insurance number and the details if I would like them. If I add, I will get the confirmation box pop up to say patient added. Okay, and then we're redirected straight away to this patient summary for this particular patient. Um, one useful feature of the system, if you don't want to use the examination module, or if, if initially you don't want to use the examination module, you can enter a date of last physical examination and a subsequent next date examination due quickly uh, populate those with the shortcut buttons so showing as today as being the last full examination and one year from now to be the recall date one of the first features or tasks that you might want to perform for a new patient might be to create a diary appointment so we'll next go into the diary diary can be set up for any number of staff members but um, here we have it set up for two and this particular view shows a single day for both staff members if I just want to look at one in particular we can go switch over to the six day view okay so now double click on an appointment slot it comes up with the currently selected patient I can change that view by finding or adding a new patient select the appointment type and the um, over 60 examination appointment status of schedule the date and the time the default length of the appointment this can be changed if necessary I'll save that if you wanted to print off a reminder for patient you could click on the print off button there and it would send that piece of information to the printer all of the diary appointments are colour coded so and configurable by yourself so you can set up appointment colour coding and appointment types as you wish. Okay, if we go back to the patient summary, I think the patient data, we can now see that their next appointment is shown in their patient summary. I'll now sh quickly show you a next exam or creating a new examination. So if we go into new examination, full exam. all in the history and symptoms section it can enter various bits of information for example um, routine examination and some tests. we 
also have a series of um, shortcuts. So you might say uh, that John O'Hare is, if you hover over the set default icon, and it shows you what will be populated. So if I click on set default, it will automatically populate the box with that information. And these defaults are configurable, so you can set these up to be exactly as you wish. In fact, the labels also are configurable, so you can change those to be any particular uh, labels that you'd like to store information against. The medication as well is configurable, so um, you can add medication to this particular list. If you want to just select one, you can. You can also record whether the patient has a history of glaucoma or diabetic and add any extra notes. Next, the ophthalmoscopy and external examination section. Again, the drop-down lists that will appear under each category are configurable, so you can edit and change these to, as you wish. I'll just select a few at random. So obviously if you're in the right eye, if the left eye is exactly the same, you click on the shortcut copy right eye, it will copy pre-populate the left eye values with exactly the same values as the right. I'll go into further and just copy the techniques and obviously you can populate the fields as you wish. Just want a couple of things to highlight if you want to record the time of the eye up, double click on the time, it will print it will um, place in the current time. Refraction section. Current RX might be um, the prescription of the glasses that the patient is wearing when they walk into the practice, so you may or may not want to record that information. Again, just to fill in some values. We try to make data entry as quick and easy as possible, so I just type in 1.25 there, it will automatically put in the plus sign or if I double click it will automatically toggle between minus and plus. Also as well if you put in 0 0.5 it will automatically put in the decimal place where it thinks you you're expecting to see it. There's also where limited validation on each of these these fields so if certain combination fields or approach was entered outside of a range of a particular for a particular field then the system will highlight that and let, let you save the examination until you've corrected it. So if this was the prescription that they've walked in with and their current prescription after a test is very similar, you can, again, to assist them to uh, make things as quick as possible, if you click on that, it autom automatically populates the values from above down here. And you might decide that you need to change just one of those values, but everything else can stay the same. We need to give an outcome for each particular examination, so it's a mean RX and we're going to suggest a pair of distance and a pair of mirror reading glasses. Finally, we need to select the retest after, so um, we'll say 18 months. Those values can be pre-populated depending on various uh, attributes that are recorded throughout, throughout the uh, examination, and those can be set up with our help. So finally, I just want to save that examination examination saved. A quick summary that you can print off if you wish. I don't want to bother at this stage, so I'll close that down and we'll return to the patient summary screen. Uh, the next
next feature that I'm going to show you is the notes and attachments. So here's a quite useful feature that you can record any piece of information against the patient's record or indeed link it to a particular examination. So if I say um, as I can. summary we can see that that patient that uh, note will permanently be visible on the patient summary the next thing I'm going to show you is the recall section so there are various different ways of um, running the recall system within blink the recommended, I'm going to show you the recommended method, which is the quick recall, and that's based on just a series of um, letters, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth recall letter. So in this particular scenario, I'm going to choose first recall letter and enter a couple of recall dates. So if I want to recall everyone who's due for an examination between the 1st of June 2015 and the 30th of June 2015 and I click find. Okay and the book is returned and we'll just see the next second recall. Okay because I've previously run the recall um, and sent a letter to each of those patients due for, a, for an examination in June the system recorded that and so it's the, I've now had to go for the second recall letter so the system's found 21 patients for whom a recall was due in June. So I can either select individual ones or I can select all. Once I've selected the patients I'm interested in, I click on next and go to the template management section. This uh, section lists a series of predefined templates. So if I select the first letter in the 60s, it gives you a preview of the contents of the letter. The fields in these square brackets are going to be mail merged from the database and populated with each individual patient's data. I can add a comment for this particular um, recall, so we'll say second. and go find. It's or acknowledged that 21 documents have been sent to the printer and here's my printer pop-up window so there's 21 sheets of paper. Um, obviously I could uh, set the template up to work with pre-headed um, note paper or set margins in various different things. I won't set that now so I'll just cancel that but as far as the system is concerned those 21 letters have now gone off to the printer and ready for printing and distribution. And so we can see in the recall history perspective for recalls here, we had a first recall of ye um, sent yesterday. In fact, that should be June. Uh, and then today we've just sent the second set of recalls to the same patients. We can view the patients for whom the recalls were sent. Final thing that I'll 
I'll show you in this session is dispensing. Um, within Blink there are several ways that you can manage your dispensing. Um, the view that we're, show we're looking at here um, relies on certain stock items that are being set up on the system or alternatively we have a simple dispensing form access bit that's linked on the left hand menu here. Simple form which pops up a new window and a simple dispensing form where we can specify for example that this patient is a distance journey lenses so let's put the distance prescription in and it might be patient dispensing train which is down side specify obviously um, certain you know lab information and details about the material of the lens and so on and add in some free text as well we can set a due date which is the current default and could be a week from today and also we can record the voucher information so if this particular patient is eligible for voucher A the two, uh, voucher A box and £38.70 will come off the grand total so the balance today is £71.30, let's say we'll have a £50 deposit, payment method cash and also for this particular patient we need to add in a second pair of lenses, this time they're near so you'll see the prescription changes as they go between distance and near. And we can add in the budget frames. Totaled up the uh, amount, so it's specs one and specs two, to give a total balance payable of one four six and thirty pence. And we can save that. It's given me the option to print the form, which I'll just cancel for the moment, for the time being, and close that window. Now, if we go back to the patient summary. Um, a few things have changed on here which obviously you can n take note of. The patient's prescription appears down below, the notes appear here on the left hand side and crucially the amount that the patient owes and the date that their uh, spectacles are due it appears here in the top right hand corner. If we click on that we go to the update section where we can update their payment information so again we'll click on update say that um, the payment was made again on the 19th but you also still owe £50 and it's time for a payback card. That was an interim payment. Okay. So finally if we now look at the patient's dispensing history okay we've got showing in red this many outstanding sale value was 235 the payment of 50 pounds with the 96 pounds 30 balance due and then the subsequent payment of 50 pounds you can obviously um, update or issue re a refund or print the uh, receipt for this particular dispensing hand but uh, we'll go into the details of those on another session so uh, I'll leave it at that for now Thank you very much.